everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today I'm going to show you how I've made this really nice gift box, gift bag. It's a really good size. I'm going to be filling it with chocolate eggs. Um, the handle is completely optional. No specialty dies are needed. I've just used dies for my sentiment on the front there. Got these gorgeous papers and I'll show you all that in a moment. You just open up the top. I've got my hook and loop there. Oh, and then inside you've got all of that space. I do say in the video, I may well decorate inside on the sides as well, but I'm going to wait and see what papers I've got left at the end. So very straightforward, easy to make. So let's get started. So the papers I'm using were kindly sent to me from Paper Ink Stamp. Really, really beautiful. I will share the links below the video so you can check those out. This one's 16 A4 sheets, eight designs and 180 GSM. And then I've also got the embellishment packs you get all these images to cut out and coordinating papers as well four colored papers two of each 180 gsm two topper sheets and they're 230 gsm and with that i'm also using my linen print embossing folder and my chunky alphabet die set so i've prepared half of it and all the decoration there so it doesn't take too long to put together so you're going to cut yourself two pieces of cardstock that measure 11 and a half by eight and a quarter. Along the 11 and a half side, you're gonna score at five and a half and 11. Rotate so that half inch tab is at the bottom and you're gonna score at three, okay? Then you wanna cut yourself four pieces of five and a half by four. Along the four inch side, you're gonna score at half an inch. Now go back along the long side with that half inch tab at the bottom. You wanna put a little marker at halfway which is two and three quarters okay just like so back along the short side and you're going to put a little marker at one and a half flip it and again a little marker at one and a half and we're going to be cutting these pieces so do four pieces and then you'll also want four pieces of five and three eighths by three and a quarter you want to mark along the middle i've already embossed this but i'm just going to fold it in half because it's a bit of a funny measurement so just pinch the top there so that's my center marker. It comes just after two and five eighths. It's that little notch in between. And then along the side here, you wanna put a little notch at three quarters of an inch, flip it, and again, three quarters of an inch. And you want four of those. And then to decorate the four sides of the box, you want four pieces of five and three eighths by five and a quarter. I'm using this beautiful paper there with all the easter eggs and the flowers for the handles which are optional if you want to turn it into a basket that gift bag look then this is a piece of a4 so it's 11 and three quarters in length by three quarters of an inch now i have cut four and i've stuck two together so there's two bits of cardstock stuck together using construction glue so that is nice and strong and i'm going to attach this um, later on okay so get all of the score lines folded and burnished so this is one that I've already done okay so we've attached the tops here so we're going to do that now with this one so I've already got this one ready which is going to stick behind and then we've got this one to do here if we cut up first of all so with the half inch tab on the right hand side you're going to cut up the score line here to the first score line and then again cut up to the first score line remove this piece completely and then just cut a little wedge off of both sides so we've got our tab and then just cut a little slither off of the sides of both pieces these are all going to fold in Again, just really removing the score line just so you've got nothing overhanging so I think I gave the wrong measurements I said five and a quarter but it's five and one eighth so I will edit that in anyway so I'm going to stick these down next which are the right way so you just get a very very thin border if you want to make your border bigger then just trim them down a bit but I'm going to stick those down next Okay, next we'll do these ones here. So you'll have your half inch tab, that's at the bottom, to attach it to the box. So you just want to take a little wedge off of each side. And then you're going to cut, you've got your little markers on each side here. You're going to cut from that marker, use your trimmer if you don't want to cut it freehand, right up to that centre. And then again, I'm going to come down up to that point. 
like so. And then again with this piece, I'm just going to cut across like so. Again, you'll repeat that on all four pieces. And then I've just rounded off the point there. And now this one will sit over the top to give us that kind of envelope look. If you've got your little marks there showing, just use your bone folder there just to rub over it and you can kind of flatten them. Okay, so stick those on top. Okay, so now we can stick these both behind these sections. So just run your glue along your tab. And then again with this one and make sure you butt them up together okay and then when you fold them over just make sure that it's nice and flush because obviously you want that to look nice and neat and then we can stick them now all together so you're going to take your other one and you're going to stick it over the top there so i'm just going to run my glue and then carefully flip the whole thing over fold this one and run your glue Again, down that tab and then fold this one over and they should pretty much marry up with each other that one's a little bit off there but it will all fold down I'm not too worried as long as it folds flat and the, your base score lines all straight then you know that everything else will fall into place so just give that all a minute to dry okay and now you can decide which you want to be the front so just fold the bottom all in like so for the minute and you might have two opposite sides that are neater than the others. You can just try these ones. So I think I prefer, yeah, they're, they're more like even, I think. So I'm going to have this as my front, like so. So if I flip it over, I want to stick this one down last. So I'm going to stick the back one, these two, and then that one. So I'm going to run my glue. All along here, stick that one down and that one, and just make sure you keep it nice and square. Probably have to put a little bit of glue just down there. And again, reinforce this if you want to add another piece of card in there, and then I'm going to pop that one down over the top. You can stick it down another way if you want, if you would rather have the two like that. On the top i guess i could have done it that way but it's the bottom i'm not massively worried about that flip it over open it back up again and just go in there and just spread out all of that glue so i want to stick my sides in first and then the back and then the front and it's on this one here this back one where i want to add my hook and loop so i've got my larger or they all fall over Hook and loop here these are the 20 mil you could add them on these ones as well but i don't think i need to i'll try it first with just this pair and then see okay make sure it's all nice and straight i can get in there really squash that down and then just carefully prise them apart just initially because they won't be that strong together when they next they just kind of like grip actually I think I do need to add it because they kind of fall in so I'm going to add it on those ones as well I mean everyone's going to be different you might be filling yours with something I think maybe once I've got stuff in here if it's something that's almost the same height as the box and they're not going to dip in but I think for now the idea is I'm just going to fill it with a ton of easter eggs but the nice thing is, is that if you let it kind of fall where it needs to, and then you can get in there, pinch them together again, just carefully prise them apart initially. And then again, just kind of let them drop down. Yeah. I think that's better. Oh, I love it. Okay, so then to decorate. So I've got these bits here, which are from the embellishment pack. And I thought I would have one over the top there in the middle and then have these 
extra little flourishes. And then I've got my Happy Easter, which I've popped on some foam adhesive, used my accent glaze on the top there, and then I've put it onto some vellum, which will allow it to pop more against that busy pattern paper. If I stuck them just on there, it would still look nice, but you'd probably just look a bit lost. So just back it with a bit of vellum. You still get to see all the lovely papers. And then to stick it on, because vellum, is not the easiest to stick down without your adhesive showing through. So I can just now add my glue just behind the letters, which I do a lot actually, and then you won't see it. And this will be enough to hold it down. You don't need to worry about the edges and stuff. Or you could put some little corner edges on if you were, you know, if they did kind of lift, put some like maybe little gold corners on and then just put a little blob of glue behind that. So I cut the vellum, it's going to vary for everybody, but this is a piece of two and a half by the width of that pattern paper, so five and three eighths. Just want to make sure it's all secure. I could decorate maybe the front. I have got these little bits here. That little chick could look, or maybe I could have that hanging down from the handle. I've got the little butterflies here as well. Maybe I'll have got my heat tool on here. I might just add a little glue and just pop that on the letter there. That's cute. We'll see. I'll play around with that. So I'm going to stick this down and then I'll show you how to add the handles because I know not everybody's going to want to have those. OK, so I've stuck all that down in the middle and then for these ones, I'm going to stick them on the front, but I may add some brads. Now I want them to be, they're going to fold in. I think I'm going to just fold them in a bit more like so. They're supposed to be short. I didn't want them long. Otherwise you can just double up your, um, your cardstock or use ribbon. So I think I'm going to tack it in with some glue. So this is just a quick grab glue. And then I'm going to punch a hole through and add some brads just for a little bit of faux hardware. So I'm just going to place them about half an inch down and I've come in three quarters of an inch on both sides. I just want to make sure they stay straight. So I'm just going to hold those there for a minute. Okay, so they're now secure. Again, this is optional. You might just want to stick an embellishment on the front of the handles. You might just want to leave them blank. I've got my big bite here. Any punch will work as long as you can obviously reach where you want it to uh, to go. And I'm just, in fact, it's probably better if I do put a little pencil mark because I know I'll probably get them wonky otherwise. So I'm just marking. Oh, see, <laughs> I didn't hold that one down long enough, so I better just hold those a bit longer and just line it up. Like so, do that on all of them. And I've got these gold brads. You you don't have to glue the handles on. You if you want them to actually move, then do, just add the brads. Don't glue them in first. But I'm using these just for decoration. Okay, I think they look really good. So let's just fold the sides in. Okay, so that is the box all finished. I have added that little chick onto a bit of string just so it's like a little dangle, little gift tag. So you've got that bit there. I've also, I had them just left over. So I've added the Easter eggs on there. I think it's so cute, filled with chocolate eggs. I'm not sure who I'm gonna give it to yet, but I do give quite a few Easter gifts out. So I know it's gonna be enjoyed by someone. And then again, open that one up and you can see Get rid of those glue strings, but all of that room inside. Decorate all the sides as well. I may, depending on what paper I've got left at the end, it will give more support, but also it can, you know, cover up the brads if you don't like that. So lots of ways to, you know, add more papers if you want to. But there you go. So I hope you've enjoyed this really simple box shape, but with that different closure, you know, the handles, I think it's, yeah, it's come together really nicely. So as always, thank you for watching today. All of the products that I've used, you'll be able to find linked below the video and also popping up here. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on all my future projects, but you can also go back and look at all of the old stuff. And coming up now will be the Easter playlist. There's tons of stuff there for some more inspiration. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.